You know evil. Subscribe now. When I was a kid growing up on a farm, we kids would argue about this. The general consensus was that blood was blue when it was in our body, but it would turn red when it hit the air. Well, we were mostly wrong. It turns out that blood is never blue. Its color, either red or darker red, is determined by the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood. We know that blood contains hemoglobin, which contains iron atoms. In the lungs, there is a lot of oxygen available, which bonds with the hemoglobin. So blood leaving the lungs through the pulmonary veins, the only vein to carry oxygenated rather than deoxygenated blood, returns to the heart high in oxygen content and bright red in color. The heart pumps the red blood to the rest of the body through arteries to deliver oxygen to the tissues, organs, and muscles, where it is used up. The blood returning in a separate set of veins is depleted of oxygen, which has been replaced with plenty of carbon dioxide, giving the blood a much dark red color. And when we look at our veins, the color of the blood appears bluish because some of the dark red color is absorbed by the vein and skins. But this only works for veins because we can't actually see our arteries to our skin. They have muscular walls that are much thicker than our more thin-walled veins.